Hello, it's me, Crazy Rebecca, Dances with Pitbulls. Welcome to a small haul and a cautionary tale. See the slice? There's one yard of it. I bought it at Joanne's on a spool, thinking there was a lot more. Oh, I was so, so smart because I had a 60% off coupon. This was $10, so I paid $4 for this piece of lace. <laughs> okay. This one was also one yard. And I didn't realize it, but it was on sale. So I got it for $2.50. But that's still only one yard, right? Well, let me show you this. Got this at Walmart on a spool, which is why I think I thought the other would be, there would be more on it. Yeah, $3.44 for three yards. So, of course, I got two. So, this is about $7.00. And this is, yeah, about $7, but look at the difference. Yeah, pay attention. Don't do like me. You just pay attention. <laughs> okay, I also went to the idea store. I could have sworn they sold this stuff by the pound. They don't, they sell it by the piece. Again, don't do as I do. Look for the price and make sure what it is before you get it up to the counter. I should have just said stop, but I really wanted it. So I think I paid $6 and something for this thing. This pile. Which to me, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. But I didn't think it was gonna be no six dollars, I know that. I got some jewels for a dollar. I got these for a dollar. They are also one yard, but they were only one dollar. One dollar, look. I need black lace and stuff. Well, I don't now. Obvious, obviously. I got all of this for... Let's see, was this in there? Or did I already have that? I may have, I may have already had that. Yeah, I think I had these. But all this, they were shoved into little bags like this. This is one of them. And it was $4 a pound. There ain't no pound there. I can tell you that. And the people at the checkout are like, I thought those were $10 a pound. I'm like, hey, they're marked four. They're different every time I come here. And then... See, this is $4 a pound. But this one was 50 cents. Again, I didn't pay attention. I wonder who's in charge because you shouldn't price things. Throw them all in the same thing. Bought fabric too, but it's all spread out over everything. I have a mess situation normal. So at Joann's, same place I got the lace, I got two packs of paper. It is paper and not cardstock. I have plenty of cardstock, needed paper. So love, love, love. Took a long time to choose. I stand there staring like an idiot. So, 
so got those. I think that's it, except, oops, I'm going to show you. My other sewing machine died, so I bought a Janome off of eBay. Oh my gosh. The one I was using, my ex-boyfriend Tony gave it to me. He was my boyfriend when I was 18 years old. Anyway, from what I could tell, number one, I didn't take care of it. Imagine that. I didn't clean it enough. I didn't clean it ever. And I was like, why is this like this? I look it up. You clean it. Oh, I cleaned it and yuck. Well, it worked for a little bit and then it just froze up. So I'm on YouTube looking for a, a video on how to fix it. And he takes it all apart and it's got a computer in it. So you got to do this and this and this. And I'm like going, uh, and at the end of that video, he said, you know what? I think the best fix for this is just to buy a new one. Because these machines are not made to be used as much as this person used it. Well, I know I used mine way more than whatever. So, the moral of the story is buy a machine that will handle what you need it to do. Mine was given to me, so... <laughs> I don't know. I should have researched it. But anyway, I didn't. So, look at my hands. I've been painting. So anyway, where was I going with this? I got a new sewing machine and I need to sew. <laughs> Imagine. That. Okay, now I need you to help me pick my next journal project. I'm going to keep it fairly simple. The choice is. We have circus, and I already have the cover for that. So, circus. Steampunk. Um, I need to find a cover for that if I can locate lens that she sent me this last time we'll use that and space because I have this space cardstock I have this book that Renee sent me Lots of good stuff in there. And I have all of this. So, are we going to make a space journal, a steampunk journal, or a circus journal? And I will try to take you along with me for the ride. So, that's all I got for now. Um, that was probably really loud. Sorry. Okay. I have got to get this mess cleaned up and I'm going to have a surprise for you in the next couple of weeks. I can't even give you a hint. I can't even. I can't even. Okay. So let me know which journal we're going to make and I'm cutting fabric. I'm going to be sewing and I know, I know what I was going to show you. Wait, wait, wait. I got, I just saw the empty things over there. This is Dilusions washi tape. Isn't it cool? Look at the eyeballs. Could have used them earlier this year. Oh, also, no, not that one, just this one. I want to know what your state COVID status is. Please let me know. I could get locked down again at any time, probably. 
I think Chicago is. And I just want to know what's going on with everybody. Is everybody safe? Is everybody okay? Does everybody have enough food? Because let me know if you don't. Anyway. Look. Look at my washi tape. We'll see you next time.